final test firings of the Turkish Atmika anti-ship missile conducted successfully. Under the Atmika surface-to-surface -surface guided missile project, which was launched on May 8, 2009, to domestically meet the Turkish Naval Forces Command's needs for a new generation anti-ship missile, the last two guided test firings of the Atmika missile from the TCG Nalita corvette with a telemetry system and a live warhead was successfully conducted on February 3-4, 2021, off the coast of Sinop in the Black Sea region before its expected delivery in 2021. These launches were also recorded as the second and third guided test firings of the Atmika guided anti-ship missile from a naval platform. On February 4, 2021, the second launch test was carried out against a similar rock as on made platform target with the Atmika anti-ship missile using a live warhead, and this time, the target was also destroyed successfully. With a last live firing test, the effectiveness of the Atmika missile's warhead was also tested for the first time. Both launches from the TCG Nalita Corvette were monitored live by the test measurement equipment at the Sinop Missile Test Range and from the air by a UAV using the Star Sapphire 380 HLD flare. President of Defense Industries Ismail Demir announced the tests on his official social media account and congratulated everyone involved for the successful test. Our first indigenous anti-ship missile Atmica successfully destroyed the target after fired from our national ship TCG Nalita. I congratulate everyone who contributed. Godspeed to our heroic Navy. President Demir also shared a short video of the test fires performed on February 3rd and February 4th between 1400 hours and 1430. In the video recorded by the UAV flying at an altitude of 18,129 feet, the passive ranging maneuver performed by the Atmica missile at the terminal stage before hitting the platform type target can be clearly seen. In the 17th issue of Rakhazan magazine, it was stated that during the guided firing test carried out from the Sinop missile test range toward the Black Sea on July 1, 2020, the Atmica guided missile performed all its functions correctly and approached the target 200 plus km away with a sea skimming mode and successfully hit the target by attacking with a pop-up maneuver. Since multiple waypoints are defined instead of a straight line during flight slash firing tests, a route similar to Diamond is followed in the Notam test area. As each waypoint reduces the total range of the missile from 4 to 17 nautical miles. Since a diamond flight pattern has been defined for the guided flight test, the Atmica missile must have followed at least 4 or 5 waypoints, which means that the total range is reduced by an average of 60 to 70 kilometers. Technically, since the Atmica missile cannot follow so many waypoints and strike from the maximum range, either the announced 220 kilometers is the direct flight distance to the target or the maximum range of the Atmica missile actually reaches 280 to 300 kilometers.